talked to my dad earlier today and um, a couple times during the week, and he just let me know that I really had no control over what was about to happen. He said just relax and enjoy, and he said it was just a blessing that um, you have the opportunity to get draft, drafted in general, whether it's first round, second round, seventh round. He said um, just enjoy it, and it was something I've been working for. Have you talked to him since you got drafted? No, I've, I've been on the run around, so I haven't talked to him yet. <laughs> Mark, what's going to be your role with the Saints? Did they discuss that with you on the phone call? Well, whatever they need to do, I'm just going to go down there and work my butt off. Um, it's a great team, great organization, great coaching staff, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be going to a good situation like that. And I'm just going to go in there and work my butt off, whatever I can do to help contribute to the team as a player. Uh, that's what I'm willing to do to help them win games and help them win championships. What do you think about going to a team with Reggie Bush on? Uh, they have lots of great backs. I, mean, I know Reggie. I've talked to him. And he's a great guy, so um, I'm, I'm happy to be on the same team as all of them. They're great guys, and I'm happy to learn from them. Do you have a bit of a chip on your shoulder after slipping all the way down um, to the draft board? I'm just, I'm not worried about that at all. I'm, I'm just going to play hard regardless of where I win. Um, the kid, that's what I do. I love to play, and I play hard. And I don't, I leave it on the field every time I, uh, I go out there. So I'm just going to keep working hard to be the best player that I can be, give myself the best chance to have success on the field. And, um, that's what my main focus is. Hey, Mark, in the way think of the tornado and the disaster down there, how are your folks doing? And uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts about what's happening? Well, it's, I have to send my heart and my prayers out to everybody in Alabama, especially in Tuscaloosa. It's been a special place in my life the past three and a half years. Um, just the strong support that they've given me, all the love that they've shown me. Um, I just have to know, I just have to let everybody know in Alabama that I support them, that whatever we can do to help, that's what we're going to do. Um, so, um, I just have to send my, it was very devastating to see the pictures and the videos of what it did to Tuscaloosa, a place that I've been living the past three years, and whatever I can do to help get back, that's what I'm willing to do. Mark, did you realize you were one of four being taken first round from the University of Alabama as a record? Yeah, definitely. We, we, uh, we were all sitting there and we heard James get called, so we were excited about that. And uh, I was like, oh, that's already three in the first. So. And then Jaquil was like, if you go, you will be four. I was like, if I go, you know. <laughs> So um, it's definitely exciting. Uh, we had four guys in the first round. Coach Saban was there. And I'm so happy for James that because um, he's a great guy, a great player as well. And I think he flew under the radar a lot. So just for him to uh, get up there in the first round, I'm really happy for him too. Mark, are you looking to slim down or bulk up? I'm looking to play at the best weight possible where I could be the most effective as a player. Mark, how's you catching on the backfield? I can catch it. <laughs> Probably like 70 bars in three years, so I can catch you. How's your name? It's great. It's a non-issue. You know, all the teams have positive reports. You know, my knee is great enough. It's good. <laughs> Mark, do you prefer playing on the, in the indoor and on that surface? Uh, I just play wherever we can line up and play ball at. <laughs> we, we can line up and play right here. You know, so um, I, just, I just like to play. Drew Brees, you would play with Definitely, just a franchise quarterback like that, a great leader. Um, they have lots of great players and great leadership on the team, great coaching staff. It's just a first-class organization, and I'm happy to be a part of it and help the program win and um, get better in any way that I can. What does the city of New Orleans mean to you? I've, I've been in New Orleans training since January, so it's kind of weird that now I'm going to be playing there. I've, I've, drove, I've, drove, I've driven past the Dome a few times, um, looked at it, and... Uh, so it's kind of weird that I'll be playing there. <laughs> Mark, Mark, there was a lot of talk for a while the Giants. Did you kind of notice that there was a that you might want to play in the same team that they had? Did that mean anything when you were talking to I mean, just the fact that my dad played there for six years and won a Super Bowl, uh, it would have been cool, you know. But at the same time, I didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, you hear a lot of different things. So I was just waiting around, just, you know, trying to, trying to, Enjoy all this moment with my family and wait till I heard my name. Did you have in that room with you? you kind of find yourself looking at them as the ground got kept going up? Definitely. My, I had my three sisters and my mom and my grandma. And then as the round went on, um, Julio stayed with me. He waited 22 picks for me. And um, Coach Saban stayed. Um, Chris Rogers, a former teammate of mine, stayed. Um, they all stayed and rallied behind me and supported me. And I'm um, so thankful of them for that. Yeah. 
I mean, of course, but he's here with me in my heart. Um, so he is here with me. Mark, can you talk a little about you and Cam both being high school documentaries and being here together at all? Have you had a brother, brother moment or anything like that for that? Well, he's a great player and he's a great guy. And I've gotten to know him uh, over, the, over the past months, especially during the Heisman and going through all the things with the draft. So I've gotten to know him. He's a great guy. And um, we haven't really talked about that, really. But um, he knows I'm happy for him. Uh, everything that he's accomplished, winning the Heisman and National Championship, I know how hard it is. And just all the adversity he had to overcome. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. First pick overall. So he's, you know, I mean, he deserves everything he's getting. Mark, what's the, what's the one thing Nick Saban really instilled in you in your time at Alabama? Just to be a hard worker, never to be complacent. Always keep working to get better and better every single day. I think that's the most important thing that he instills in his players is to never be complacent. Mark, have you talked to Reggie yet? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Not yet. Mark, Reggie shortly after you drafted tweeted that he basically waiting for all the I don't know. I just know that they have a great backfield. Reggie's a great guy. He's always been supportive of me and helped me out. So um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just happy to be a saint. And, uh, if he's back there, I'm going to be happy to learn from him because I know he's a, he's a great guy, a great back. So I'm just wanting to be I'm, – I'm happy to be down there in a, in a great backfield and to learn from all those guys. How about New York? What do you think of New York now that you got Heisman here, you got drafted here, what do you think of the city? It's becoming like my good luck city, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I come, something good happens. So. I like New York. Short questions? Okay, great. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.